Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this pixel stretch effect in Photoshop. And I'm going to teach you a couple ways you can do it um, so that you can decide whichever way you prefer. Let's jump right into it. So first off, you obviously need an image. I got this image from pexels.com. I usually get my images from there. The first thing we're going to do is basically just rasterize the image i'm then going to grab my rectangular marquee tool or the single row marquee tool you decide whichever one you prefer i prefer the rectangular marquee tool because you can decide the height of the uh, column or row because if you select the single column it's gonna go the full one pixel of the full column and maybe we don't want that so that's why i'm using the rectangular marquee tool um, this because I, if I, let's say, want to just select a line of the backpack, I can do that. I'm going to press Command J on Mac, Control J on a PC to duplicate the selection onto a new layer. And then by just pressing Command T to transform. And I'm going to just stretch this out all the way. Press enter and you have your stretched backpack. Now the cool thing about this is if you decide later on you want to change the its shape or whatever, you just command T to transform it again. Right click, select warp, and now you can just warp it wherever you want. Like let's say you want it to go something like this. And press enter when you're happy with it and you have your warped stretch. Um, another way you could do it is just find a line, a straight line where your all your subject is. So maybe like this part. Command J to duplicate it onto a new layer. Command T to transform. Stretch it out. all the way so you get something like this which is also really cool uh, another thing you could do after that is just with the your stretched um, layer selected just change the blending modes so that you can have some transparency and you can see your subject uh, lying underneath there as you can see so maybe like darken could work well for this and as we said earlier if we want to warp it all we got to do is command t to transform then just right click on it warp and just warp it press enter and that's it let me know in the comments if you have some tutorial suggestions that you want to see Go check out my Instagram. I post daily designs on there and I'm almost at day 600. Um, so it definitely mean a lot if you go check that out. And linked in the description down below are going to be all my gradient map packs and my texture packs. There's also some free ones in there for you guys. So definitely go take a look at those as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.